What's up, it's you for today's video with me for Iron Heads, Forms, and Evolution team. I'll be using Makahita, Hariyama, and Iron Hands on this team, and I'll be using the normals and the shinies to make up an entire team of six. I don't believe I've actually done any videos purely based on any of these uh, couple of Pokemon, you know, uh, battle-related videos, so this is going to be pretty fun. Now, these Pokemon were good, but the problem about them is they were very, very slow, which made it quite difficult to get some you know, really intense battles, but I got some good ones, and I hope you enjoy. First battle, I'm not really sure who my opponent's name here. Uh, this one was on the Poke Portal, and we've got a Breloom lead. Now, I thought I might be able to get a counter off here, but there's a pretty good chance that I might be put to sleep by Sport. So I'm going to go for that fake out there, getting rid of maybe a possible Focus Ash, and now the Breloom is going to put me to sleep. This turn, I went for a counter. Now, if you enjoyed the video, Speed, if you want to help the channel out, make sure you do hit that like button. And I've got some new moveset guides coming up tomorrow. And I'm also doing some Pokemon that are non-Gen 9. So it should be pretty interesting. I might even look at some Pokemon like Dragonite and stuff like that. So I actually woke up here, which is pretty funny. And then I went for a counter, which of course is going to fail. And now the Breloom is going to put me out to sleep. See, it was a Spore Mud Slap Breloom. So I've got no idea what's going on at the moment. I definitely didn't expect it to have Mud Slap. Now it's going to go for a brick break and fight me. I'm like, come on. That's just, I don't know. Like, it's super, super confusing, but it was nice to see. Next Pokemon is going to be Hariyama. Now, this Hariyama set is definitely the best set on my team here. Probably better than the even my uh, Iron Hand. So, this is a Flame Orb the Tech set with Guts, and I've got Detect, Bullet Punch, Close Combat, and Knock Off. Of course, I've got the ability Guts, and the item is going to be Flame Orb. Now, this is going to be Terra Steel, which is the best Terra to run on Harry Arm for sure, like hands down, pardon the pun. We've got Max Health and Max Attack out of a nature. So, obviously, here, I'm going to go for a close combat and get rid of the Breloom. I did the Detect 2 to get around the obvious Spore, so that was a good Pokemon to bury for sure. Next Pokemon is going to be Slowbro. So Slowbro is pretty slow, and I'm thinking, well, I should be able to outspeed this and almost take it out with Knockoff, or maybe one shot at Knockoff gets very, very close. I actually get rid of a Life Orb there, and Slowbro is going to go for a nasty plot. So like, that's really, really good there. I'm so glad that I got around that. I guess uh, it's sort of the similar of my team. All the Pokemon are very, very slow. Now, Hurry Armor, or just the, the, this line in general, doesn't get that many priority moves. It only gets, like, you know, Bullet Punch, Fake Out. That's about it. And those moves are kind of weak. So we got a Sylveon coming out here. I'm absolutely going to go for a Terra Steel here. Now, the reason why I say Terra Steel is the best on Hariyama uh, is for the following reasons, right? Hariyama is weak to Psychic. That gets around it. It's weak to Fairy. That gets around that. And it's also weak to Flying. That also gets around it. What a wonderful Terra to run on Hariyama. And it also gives priority and power to Bullet Punch through Terra too. So, in my opinion, absolutely wonderful to run on it. Unfortunately, it actually lives and this Sylveon has got cute charms. You know, you get to see cute charm activated like hardly at all or just like you know only your people like shadow people so it's gonna go for a draining kiss now i cannot risk this match up here i have to swap out my harry armor however the sylveon swap down there so it was a double swap from uh, myself and the opponent so i'm swapping out here because i don't want to be infatuated and i'm going to go into my own makahita and in comes a azimaril now this makahita was a sheer force everlight set so we've got fire punch close combat poison jab and stone edge max attack and max health unfortunately azimaril is going to body me there with a uh, player up not much i could have done there my virtually my entire team is weak to that now we're going to go into Iron Hands. This is a special Iron Hands. It's absolutely horrendous, which is perfectly why I want to run it. So we've got on this one Focus Miss Thunder from Down Under, Electric Terrain, and Metronome. It doesn't have a lot to pick from from the special side, trust me. Uh, we've got Max Health and Max Special Attack, Modest Nature, Terrain Extender as the item. Now, with the Quark Drive, it does boost its attack still, but I'm sort of doing that to uh, increase the power of Thunder. It was pretty funny because I actually, uh, you know, I did outspeed that Azumarill and got some nice damage on it. Now the Azumarill is going to swap out, and we've got Greninja coming into the Thunder, which misses. Come on, that was so unlucky. Now the Greninja is going to go for a Gunk Chop Protein, turning into a Poison type. Now that doesn't do lots of damage to me at all. I can go for another Thunder, and of course, both of the Thunders in a row miss. 
I'm very, very salty about that. Now there's another uh, gunk shot coming my way, and that is going to be the end of the Iron Hands. What do you think about Iron Hands, Tuba? Do you like this Pokemon? What do you think of these evolution lines? Let me know in the comment section of the video. So now we're going to deal with this Greninja. I've got the Iron Hands, a typical belly drum set here. Um, mostly you'll find with the competitive Iron Hands, it'll have Sword Dance or it'll be Choice Fan and a Soul Fest or Belly Drum. They're sort of the, you know, the best sort of competitive types of movesets you can run on. This one is, it's, it's even like based on the raid set kind of. So we've got Drain Punch, Ice Punch, Thunder Punch, Citrus Berry as the item. And we've got Max Health and Max Attack out of nature. So since it's got such great health stat there, you're able to tank quite a lot of hits there have the citrus berry as a backup there so you can get your belly drum off and then your attacking move the problem with this pokemon is you don't have any priority moves so say if it had something like mac punch that'd make like this make this pokemon so much better like can you imagine how good uh belly drum mac punch would be on this pokemon would be crazy so that's going to be in a greninja and in comes a dragapult dragapult's going to go for a dragon dance that's not doing anything at all i'm going to go for an ice punch here and it actually managed to live which i'm not too surprised about about. So another barrage of the little uh, dragon darts here. They actually changed the dragon darts animation. Did you notice that? Like the little babies, they actually normally fly at you. Now it's just like a, I don't know, it's just like a really basic animation. I don't know why they didn't keep the old one. They look really, really cool. Anyway, so I'm going to outspeed the Azuril. It didn't have Vaco Chat, and that is the end of Azumarill. All that's left now is that Sylveon from earlier on that we know has Draining Kiss. And they've already terrored, so we don't have to worry about that at all. So now the Sylveon is going to outspeed me and finish you off with the Draining Kiss there. Interesting, Azumarill didn't outspeed my Iron Hands. It must have been... I know, might have... Oh, wait a second. It might have been a Trick Room set with that uh, slow bro. I'm thinking that might have been what they're going But I don't know. Like, that's a pretty crazy, uh, interesting EVs and sets here. I'm going to go back into Hurry Armor there and finish off the Sylveon with a Bullet Punch. And that is the end of the first game there. So some very, very good counters on my opponent's side of the field there. I'll never know what they're running with that Breloom, though. Maybe some sort of troll set. I don't know. But uh, if you ever uh, watch this video, take it with a the battle there, a uh, random person. Let's get on to battle number two. Here. This is a battle against Dan, and we may have some sort of theme team here. If you can guess it, let me know in the comments. So, first Pokemon is Lucario, and I've got my Makita. We're going to go for a fake out there. However, Lucario's got the inner focus, so it's not going to get flinched there. And it's got Metrono. What is going on? And now it's going to go for Struggle Bug. Struggle Bug, uh, well, it doesn't do a lot of damage, but now I can't make use of Counter or Reversal or anything like that. Now Lucario's going to get a stockpile up, so by Bulky Lucario. Oh, I forgot to mention what the EVs were on Makahita. So this one was a max attack set, uh, lonely as the nature, and we've got uh, zero IVs in health and uh, in defense, and that's basically, I didn't give it any other. Oh, sorry, I gave it max uh, speed as well. Not that that really matters. So we had counter fake out thief and reversal, focus sash as the item, and guts as the ability. So I'm going to get taken out by a weather ball there. Weather ball animation looks pretty cool. And that's the end of Makahita. That was sort of like my my Pokemon to get around any like really super overpowered physical attackers. I could bring it in and go for the counter. So now we're going to have a, a Metronome Hurricane. And that is going to blow my bulky Everlight Makahita out in one shot. That's, just, that, that's cruel. So... Both the baby Pokemon are now gone. So things are getting pretty serious right now. I'm going to go into my Iron Hands. Now, Makahita is going to go for a, a Metronome Triple Dive. So now it's, it's turned itself into a water type, into the Mighty One Tree here. And uh, Iron Hands is going to take the full load there. It's not doing a lot of damage, though, which is good. You know, Iron Hands has got a lot of bulk to it. Now, my Iron Hands is going to go for a Focus Miss. Oh, this is a special one, and it missed. You wouldn't read about it. Now, the Lakaria is going to go for a Metronome Splash. That's probably the first time I've ever seen Lakaria use Splashlight in my entire life. So, Cherry. This moment in your mind, people. That's going to be the end of the uh, Lakaru final there. I nearly got swept by Metro. Now, the next Pokemon to come out here is going to be 69 Souls, which is Spiritomb. So I'm going to go for Electric Drain here. I need to boost up the power of uh, Thunder here too. So this could be quite handy turning a 3-hit KO into a possible 2-hit KO. Now, Spiritomb is actually uh, pretty funny here. Went for a Hypnosis. Hypnosis is going to fail to the Electric Train, which is awesome. So now we've got a little bit of a salty swap there. That definitely was a salty swap. And in comes Cynthia, which of course is Garchomp. So I'm like, all right, well... 
this is a hard Pokemon to actually swap into. Like, what should I do? Should I go for the Focus Miss? I don't really know here. So, Guard Drop is going to be going for a Sandstorm. Now, I smell a rat here. I'm pretty sure this is a Sand Ballast set. So, I went for the Metroom and I got Sky Attack. I'm like, all right, that's pretty good. You know, I've got a plus one on attack from the Quark Drive. Let's be real, my attack is still higher than my special attack, even with, like, you know, full investment there. So now we got this, uh, the Sand Tomb from the Guard Chop. So the Guard Chop is hitting me with a Quick Sand at the end of the turn, and it's hitting me with the Sandstorm at the same time. So, of course, Sky Attack is going to miss there. This apparently was a Bright Powder Guard Chop. Very, very filthy. And uh, now I'm going to get flinched by the Iron Head. So I can see what this set is all about. So getting the sand up. Uh, obviously, the opponent does miss a lot. Trap them in with Sand Tomb. And then outspeed them with Iron Head and flinch them at the same time. A very, very mean and nasty strategy. I totally wouldn't do that myself. So that's going to be the end of half my team now. I need to get back into this game. So we're going to go to Iron Head's number two there. We're going to get a plus one in attack. Now, this has Ice Punch as one of its moves here. All i got to do is land one Ice Punch on this Garchomp, and it is all over Red Rover. That's what happens there. That's the end of Garchomp there. It got hit by a massive hand, which is good there. So now the next Pokemon... Oh, wait. We got the Sandstorm subsiding, and we got the uh, Spirit Tune coming back in. So it can't use Hypnosis here. So like, all right, I might as well just go for a Thunder Punch. It's going to do a lot of damage. It almost took it out. Very, very close. Uh, now Spirit Tomb is going to go for a Terror Blast. So Terror Blast is not going to do much damage to Iron Hands at all. I'm just going to double up there with a Thunder Punch. The Electric Train is also gone from the field now. So now we've got rid of half the team. Now, this was a really, really threatening Pokemon. We got the Bravery coming in. So any sort of flying type move is pretty detrimental to this team as uh, like you know all of them are weak to it virtually and the thing about this team too that made it difficult I, I know I did mention this before is the speed of this team so really my only speediest poker was Harry Arm with a bullet punch and we had the Makahita with fake out that was it I really didn't have much speed outside that so we're gonna have a terror flying now which is pretty terrifying and now I'm gonna go to Harry Arm so this is the Harry Armor set with the Flame of a Guts, and it served me very, very well. Like, it was really, really good at getting around all those, uh, you know, Fairy-type Pokemon and, you know, other counters like that. So now the Bravery is going to go for Rain Dance, interesting enough there. Maybe they expected me to have a Protect set, and I'm going to go for the Terra Steel here. Now, I know Bravery really, really well on the special side, and I'm thinking the only move it really has to hit me would, would be, like, uh, heat wave, but I doubt they've got that, you know, setting up the rain there. So that still does an enormous amount of damage to me. I went for the knockoff here. Excellent damage. That's going to get rid of the life orb. So this is like a sheer force Bravery set. Um, I can see that. So here comes another hurricane. The good thing is I don't have to worry about getting confused. That's probably the only good thing about this. And I'm going to go for a second knockoff there, and that is the end of Bravery, which is a very, very threatening Pokemon. If I didn't finish that there, I was done. Like, my last Pokemon definitely wasn't finishing off. Next Pokemon Pokemon is going to be the Glaceon. I've got the Bullet Punch here, and I've got the Extra Stab. However, it is very bulky Pokemon, so it's going to be able to live that quite nicely. However, it was a flinching bite set. So since I went first there, there was no chance of me getting flinched at all, which was awesome. So that's the end of like some sort of like trolling Glaceon set. So Harry Armor is now going to faint to the Flame or Burn. It only had a little bit of health anyway. So this is where things got interesting. Next Pokemon is Electros. It's called Pickle Tastic. And I can tell you what here, there is nothing fantastic or pickle-tastic about pickles at all. They're absolutely disgusting. It's my most hated food. Like, question of the day here, people. This is the most important question ever. Do you like pickles or not? Let me know about it in the comment section. So my last Pokemon is Hariyama. I didn't get to show this off the first battle, but I sure get to this one. This is a bulky Hariyama set. Now we got, let me just bring it up. We got Rest, Sleep, Talk, Body Press, and Bulk Up. Thick Fat is the ability, leftovers as the item. We got max health and max special defense, careful nature. So this is very, very bulky. The idea is to go for bulk up there and then go for body press. It does a lot of damage. It can take a lot of hits. It's got Thick Fat there, so it can you know, power down those ice and fire time moves. The problem here was we were both setting up coils and bulk up, so we weren't really doing hardly any damage to each other at all, right? And at this stage, I could go for a rest here, but 
you know, I was a little bit worried because this uh, Electros did uh, have the ability to have some sustain here with like Drain Punch. So anyway, I'm going to be, uh, I'm actually going for the uh, Body Press here and I get a huge crit. You wouldn't read about it. I put the Pickle on one health. So things were starting to get interesting here. Then my Harry Arm, I got paralyzed. You know, I kept getting uh, punched by the Pickle over and over and over again there. Then it's going to get some health back. I went for the Body Press. It lived on one health again. I'm like, come on. So here comes another Drain Punch. I'm like, oh, come on. I need to fade in this set. If I don't fade in this set or I get paralyzed, I'm done. I get the Body Press off and that is the end of the Pickle. It was very close, people. I was definitely in a Pickle there. But uh, the Pickle win in the bin. Thank you, Dan, for the battle there. A very, very close battle at the end. Who knows what could have happened. Let's get on to battle number three. This is a battle against Bacon Muncher. Uh, I actually, the... To be real, right, I, if I had to choose between bacon and smoked salmon, I'd pick smoked salmon. What, what would you pick? I know there's a lot of people that do like bacon. So first Pokemon is going to be Crooked June. Obviously, it's going to use Sticky Web. That's the standard set. I'm going to go for the Fire Punch. So it's got Leech Life as its attacking move there. I was a little bit concerned it might have, like, Aerial Waste, but I felt confident I could live that one uh, you know, with the Everlight. And, you know, Makina has, uh, you know, pretty decent bulk about it. It's got 72 in health, which is quite nice for a baby Pokemon. Next Pokemon we got here is going to be the Drifblim. So Drifblim's going to go for will o -Wisp. That was uh, that was lucky, right? Because I could have easily be running a gut set there. So that would have actually helped out my Makahita. Unfortunately, I'm running a sheer fall set. I went for the stone miss and it did half L. So I'm like, hmm, that's pretty good. I got a crit there. Now the Drifblim is going to go for a Phantom Force and my stones are... Well, the stones aren't going to be hitting either. They're probably like a planet or something like that. Now uh, comes the Phantom Force and Makahita is going to be fainting. You know what? I really will say this, right? I miss a move that Hariyama got, and it was called Smelling Souls. Now, you know, apart from the salt meme, I actually really like this move, and they removed it from the game. What it did, right, uh, it actually got a double base power uh, when the opponent was uh, paralyzed. You know, say you paralyze them, you go for the Smelling Salts, it does double damage to them and cures the paralysis. I thought that was a really, really unique and cool move, but... You know, I was very disappointed that I got rid of that from the game. Like, some other moves as well, like, uh, what's another cool one? Uh, wake Up Slap. That was cool. You know, it's similar sort of thing. So, when the opponent was asleep, you go for the Wake Up Slap. You know, you give them a good slapping. And that was double base damage while they were asleep. I thought they were cool moves. I hope they do make a return one day. Anyway, let's get back to the battle here. We've got a, a, the Dunce Pass, and it's going to be a Ancient Power set. So, I'm going to go into Harry Armor, and you wouldn't read about it. The Dunce Pass gets a Ancient Power boost on the first time it hits. I was like, all right, let's see how uh, let's see how strong Harry Armor is with guts and close combat. So it's gonna get a boost in all of its stats here. So I thought, all right, this is still gonna take some big damage if it does live, but it doesn't. That's uh that's a one shot there. So even with a plus one in defense, that was the and uh, uh, that was definitely the end of the Dunspass. I don't know what sort of EVs was running outside um I'd say it would have been max special attack and max health or something like that. Next Pokemon is going to be a jump off. Now, I don't know whether this is a theme team or not. If, if anyone could recognize these uh, these nicknames, let me know. So, jump off is actually quite a good counter for this team. Now, interestingly enough, they don't have an item. I was like, wait a second. They must have acrobatics, right? That's a good move that uh, jump off gets us flying. And, of course, they have got the acrobatics. And that is the end of Harry Armour. So... This is, a, you know, this is a very, very good counter for my team. So my only Pokemon I've got in the sand has got Makahita. And I'm going to go for the count here. Good thing there wasn't any Stealth Rocks on the field. Um, I was able to finally get this counter set to work. I mean, I got it to work a lot of times in a lot of battles here. But, uh, you know, there was a fair lot of times I couldn't really get it to work either. So that is the end of Jump Off, which is good. Very, very threatening. Probably the only time you hear that. Now, the next Pokemon is going to be Thunderstruck. I get that. The, th the song uh, Thunderstruck. Um, so I'm going to get paralyzed by uh, the uh, Thunder Wave there. So this is interesting. They didn't attack me. So I'm like, I wonder what they're doing. Maybe they're setting up on me. So I got uh, I got paralyzed there. I was going for a reversal. Now the Air Frost is going to go for Parafusion on my Marketer. So I'm like, all right. Obviously, this set doesn't have any attacking moves or very little. It's some sort of troll set. Uh, now my Marketer is going to be confused here. And I got paralyzed two times in a row. I was like, okay, fair enough. I'm eventually going to get through this. But what are they going to do? 
third move is Rain Dance. I'm like, ah, oh, I think they've got Thunder as their other move. But uh, I don't know. I can't be too sure, but it makes sense. So now I'm going to get confused here. I get through, get the reversal off, and Makahita just buries Air Frost in one shot there. That was awesome. So maybe they should have attacked my Makahita early on. So last Pokemon is going to be Salt Stack here. Salt Stack is going to be... Uh, the Terra Pokemon here. Now, this is a really, really good Pokemon, especially with Everlight. It's extremely bulky, and if it's got Purifying Soul, it's very, very hard, uh, you know, to get around there. Generally, you need to hit it with, like, a powerful uh, special move here. So now it's going to spam the Iron Defense. So at this stage... You know, pretty much none of my team here are able to you know, do lots of damage to it. I'm going to go for the Thief here anyway, and I Thief the uh, Everlight, which is really good. So that's going to help out a bit. But, you know, even so, with uh, three Iron Defenses up, or like, you know, even two is going to make it very, very bulky. So at this stage, I just went for Thief here. There wasn't much I could do. There wasn't much point in me swapping because we all know that it's going to have Body Press, right? That's the standard move these Pokemon run. I'm just going to keep going for Thief and Thief and Thief until it goes for either Salt Kill or, or Body Press, and it's going to go for Salt Kill there. So that's the end of my Mark Eater. So I've got uh, two more Pokemon left. So I'm going to go into the Iron Hand CR. This was the uh, this is the belly drum set, I believe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go for the terror, and then I'm going to go for belly drum. So the only thing that was concerning me a little bit was the fact that there was a sticky web on the field from the Krigatude, and that there was a pretty good chance that I would get outsped because it's a very slow Pokemon, right? But I, uh, to get around this thing, I had to go for the belly drum there. So I'm going to hit by the body press, as I already uh, knew it was going to happen. And the citrus berry is going to give me, uh, you know, obviously a, a good amount of uh, health back there to get the belly drop off but of course this Pokemon has uh, no forms of priority so the salt stack can take out Hariyama and it can take out Iron Head so that's pretty much it here um with my with a special move there I doubt even my I doubt even my Iron Hand special set would have done much to it uh, there. Not that a special attack is very, very high anyway, but a very, very excellent counter to my team there for sure. Hope you enjoyed this uh, video, people. That's about it for today. Peace out.